the goal is to, you know, create something very small, but to see, you know, how intense I can make that small thing, how, how you know, how much kind of um, activity or intensity can be within, found within this small uh, slab of wood, this small surface. Some of the chants uh, and um, kind of aleatory techniques that were developed by uh, Dada, or you know, this sort of idea of, of dropping some pieces of paper on a surface and, and having that be the, this sort of chance composition. So I, I rely on that a lot. Of course, this, they're not just simple pieces of paper, but the, the way, um, you know, the, the, there's a certain lack of control when using the metal leaf. Um, it just sort of goes everywhere. Sometimes it floats around the room and, uh, you know, if there's a breeze, you have to sort of work very delicately with it and, and you're, so you're really dropping it down onto the surface in, in a very similar way um, to some of the, the um, data and surrealist kind of autom automatic uh, drawing techniques and randomization, um, chants, things like that. So the yeah the 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 shapes uh, and they're they're linked with the color as well so they you know I, I, they're sort of wed together in this interesting way and this the real excitement for me is is allowing these things to happen very randomly and, and without control you know that's sort of a, evading the question of uh, you know sort of linked to modernism or any you know multiple different art histories I think are, are, can be found within these works but um, there's no real effort to to construct anything um, uh, of any illusion or, or depth or um, oh, kind of like you know that would allow you to sort of um, get lost in in a particular composition so for me this the surface is just very flat and very literal you know it's almost a, a, a sample of uh, something that could be much larger and um, it's, it's almost a, an isolated sort of map of, of something. I think of it in in very scientific terms, you know, even with these colors that come together and, and the way I describe uh, in this uh, text of, um, you know, not planning, uh, not really reacting or responding to what what came before and maybe a month will have gone by before I'm working again on the same painting on a second layer or a third layer. And uh, so being um, kind of um, uh, unaware or, or intentionally, you know, just working blind on, on this same painting over and over again, um, just these uh, very unexpected things happen. So it's kind of creating this, this environment for for the unexpected and um, and all the way down to you know just the way things sort of piece together and, and sort of uh, fracture and overlay and um, you know it's all very very improvised and very loose and, and not very um, constructed in a way in a very deliberate way for their sequence so yeah there's there's this control behind it. There is a very deliberateness. Um, so I'm kind of playing a game with myself. Can I sort of step away and you know be the be the one creating this, but also step away from you know what what the final outcome is and what what this thing actually looks like. You know.